Okay, so I really liked this extruded letters and SketchUp tutorial. This was just really cool and straightforward and clean. And I wanted to add on to that with what you could do in Blender because as many of maybe you may be exasperated with by now, uh, I am a total Blender nut. So I'm going to Shift A, add some text. Textures are really small because I'm zoomed way out because at this scale we're more sort of on the scale you'd see in the 3D printer world. Each one of these is one centimeter in length, so this is maybe nine centimeters wide worth of text. And when I generate this text, it's a very flat, you know, perfectly flat two-dimensional object. So to in this panel here under F, which stands for ob the object data of text, I'm going to do the extrude option. And maybe I don't want the text to be that thick. I'm going to say 0.1. And I'm going to give it a bevel because bevels are cool. And at this size, you know, maybe the bevel wouldn't show up, but if you made it a bit bigger, then you'd have a bevel that would definitely show up on your print. <coughs> and with the font options, you can actually go into a file and select from say windows slash uh, fonts the, from the available fonts. I'm going to go with something from the Times series just because that'll be nice and clearly not the same kind of font as the one we started with. That's very sort of definitely not the same text. And I can still tab into edit mode and change the text. which is kind of cool because you can keep making those sorts of modifications to it while the text is still mutable. And so this is now, I'm going to call that maybe done. Uh, I can use the shear option to tilt the text back and forth, which is kind of cool, so I'll tilt it back slightly. Just because that's something you couldn't do with italics, because italics always goes this way. And now I'm going to you know, freeze this into an object which is a mesh. So I'm going to, go to convert mesh from etc. So now if I tab into edit mode, you see this is now this all this uh, mesh underneath and I'm going to demonstrate one thing that was a little bit annoying when I was figuring this stuff out is if you, if you select this, like the bevels and the tops of text and everything by default are not connected together. So I'm going to a go to Mesh, vertices, remove doubles, and that's 2780 vertices, so almost 3000 vertices were removed by that little process. But now this is a manifold mesh. And that's, you can see all of the details in there, and these are all in quads on those bevels and everything. So that's an object you could export, but I'm going to go a step further and add in a thing called a curve. And I'm going to edit it by scaling it up quite a bit so that it's sort of on the same order of magnitude as the text that we're seeing. And I'm going to add a modifier to this thing that is called curve. I'm going to select that curve that I just picked as the thing that's modifying it. And now, when I move isn't that kind of cool? When I move the p the control points on that curve, it distorts the text along that curve. So do something kind of like this. As you go too far, you'll eventually be distorting it into a non-manifold mesh. Like if I do this, this is probably starting to self-intersect. So if I stick to something fairly modest with the distortions, I can be pretty confident that that's going to stay manifold. So that that's probably a manifold mesh, but it's also pretty cool and strange looking, and I'm going to add another wrinkle to this, which is I'm going to shrink the top part, which is another thing you can get away with with Blender. So now I've got something really pretty funky looking, but I think it's pretty neat. And now I'm going to export this. And go to export STL. I can now just go to my other programs slash Blender files. Oops, that's Blender Cycles, which is a rendering experiment they're doing with it lately. And I'm going to say that this is uh, text export one. 
enter twice. And now I have an STL exported of this very strange looking text, and I hope you guys have fun with this uh, particular set of features and maybe do some exploring on your own because that that's what this is all really about, right?